Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we thought we'd have some fun. We're taking a look at 1984's The Never Ending Story. Now, this one came up, I believe, because we had a live stream and somebody made it a comment or you guys were talking about The Never Ending Story. And I had said I had never seen it before. And a bunch of you folks out there couldn't believe it. So yeah. you requested it. So we are taking a look at it. I have no idea what to expect. I know there's like a lot of uh, like puppetry and stuff like that, I think. Beyond that, I have no idea what to expect. Zero. Now, I have seen it, but not since I was like a little kid. Kid, so I remember bits and pieces. Some of the, some of the Family Guy little like spoofs on it. The yeah, that's about it. So I am definitely ready, willing, and able to recapture my childhood, uh, so to speak, in this movie. I have seen this movie countless times. In fact, uh, 1984, my father took my siblings and I to see it in the theaters. So I saw this one when it came out. I've seen it many, many times over the years. I don't think I've watched it probably in at least a good four or five years. Um, so there may be a few details that I watch where very, very small details that I don't catch, but this is a movie that I have seen many, many, many times. I absolutely love it. Um, there's some things that I'm sure these guys are gonna love, uh, some things they're not ready for. Um, and, uh, and they, they'll, the they'll, is that, they'll, you're all right. They'll, they'll, you're all right over there. I mean, <laughs> they'll know when they get there. So but I'm really, I'm really excited. So, uh, a fun watch with my buddies here. So in '84, when you were seeing this in theater, you were seeing Rambo in theaters. Probably... So there you go. This is going to be a lot of fun. So without further ado, let's go. The enjoyment that the answer gets watching Airbender with us. Yeah. I feel like this is the <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be I'm your so turn. So excited. So oh for these guys. The look of disdain you gave me when I said I'd never seen it before was like nothing I'd ever seen. Oh before. god, you guys, this this theme song. I mean I got my shout out to uh Stranger Things when they use this. It'll probably have Remember to Dusty singing this to uh his girlfriend. Oh, that's all. Oh, this is where it came this from. Okay. There. I just oh, got caught up. Bigger. Guys, just I had to just... turn down his mic. He's already yelling into it, too. That's how excited he is about this. This music just, it warms my heart. Warms the cockles of your heart. <laughs> this music warms my heart. Yeah, I never made that connection that that's what uh, Dusty oh. was singing in Stranger Things. I recently got caught up on Stranger Things so that we could watch that when it comes out for the new season. Wanted to join the fellas. Now, this isn't like a Jim Henson <laughs> know, thing, right? Is... Oh. <laughs> Was it like, isn't it his studio? No. No. Okay. When you think Jim Henson, you think like the Muppets. Like... Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but he but, has like, other he stuff. Did, but there you go. Like right stuff. there, Brian okay. Johnson. And... Ah, so, so they'll probably show it. In between his time with uh, ACDC, he was making this. <laughs> so, oh, all right. God. Ah, the old uh, bookmark there. One what? Question. Yep. <laughs> it's uh, Major Dad. Major Dad, and uh, <laughs> what else was he in? He was uh, in a cop show too, I think. Everything he was. Yeah. In. <laughs> Look at that jar oh, of uh, Skippy from back in the day. What's he mixing up in the blender? Orange juice and Sanka. I had another dream, Dad, about Mom. Oh, orange juice and an egg. I understand, son. But we have to get on with things, right? Oh, that's tough. Bastion, we each have responsibilities. Can't let Mom's death be an excuse for not getting the old job done, right? She's starting heavy. I got a call from your math teacher yesterday. She says that you are <laughs> drawing horses in your math book. Unicorns. They're a unicorn. What? Come on, man. They're corns. She also says that you haven't been turning in your homework on time. I'm very disappointed that you well, didn't try out she's one team. As to those riding lessons you wanted, you say you love horses, and yet you seem to be afraid to get on a real one. What's Bastion, he? you're old enough to get your head down out of the clouds and start keeping both feet on the ground, right? Ugh. 
Ugh. Oh, God. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go and try that right after this. Orange juice and an egg. Stop daydreaming. Start facing your problems, okay? Hey, weirdo. Got any cash for it today? Look at these guys. Get up! Yeah! Hey, Is this uh, Chicago or New York? Do we know what? Can't get away, you jerk! Uh, why is he a jerk? <laughs> oh, I got him. Where's your money, man? I don't have any! No money? Go in the garbage can! Oh! No. Oh! Hey, man! Who said you can get out the garbage? No, not again! I didn't think you're going, Whip! Oh! <laughs> Get out of here! Those my kids. Oh, a bookstore. Are you still here? Did you hear what I said, boy? Oh, so You're hiding, aren't you? No, I was just... The video arcade is down the street. Here we just sell small rectangular objects. <laughs> They're called books. <laughs> <laughs> they make no beep, 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 beeps. On your way, please. Beep, beeps. Wow, sounds like cool Have man Angry Quinn. <laughs> Comic books. No, I've read Treasure Island, Last of the Mohicans, Wizard of Oz, Lord of the Rings, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Lord of the Rings? Well, Last of the Mohicans? 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Who are you running away from? Just some kids from school. They want to throw me in the garbage. So why don't you give them a good punch in the nose? Hmm? Solid 80s advice. It is. Well, What's that book about? Oh, this is something special. Your books are safe. Have you ever been Captain Nemo trapped inside your submarine while the giant squid is attacking you? Can't yes. say that. Oh. <laughs> but it's only a story. That's what I'm talking about. Forget about it. This book is not for you. This guy's incredibly terrible at getting rid of a young child's curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This little Imagine that he's gonna grab it. No, I don't. I don't have it, but I could find it for you. Oh, snakes! There it is. Goodbye. No, this is plan uh, all along. <laughs> Quinn, you know, if, so. <laughs> you know, back in the eighties, you could trust strange men at bookstores. And even <laughs> left Quinn the note. This guy was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's late for school, isn't he? Oh man, I've been there. You're coming into class, and everybody's looking at you when you walk in the door. Oh man, oh, I was late to school a lot. Don't you still have those nightmares too? Uh, after a while, you kind of get over it. <laughs> It's like, it's like, oh my God, I have a test tomorrow. I didn't study for it. Oh, wait, I'm 37 <laughs> and I don't go to school anymore. Whoa. Oh, I thought he's going to, I thought that was a fire alarm at first. So he did was I. going to pull a fire alarm. Oh, he's got the key to the attic. Oh, he's got a. And grin on his face. <laughs> oh, easy. We're PG 13 over here. I'm trying to. Uh, uh, you should it see yourself during Avatar. Yeah, that's true. Forest. The wind whistled through the tops of the ancient trees. Suddenly, something enormous crashed and rumbled through the eerie woods. Ah! <laughs> This is like an Alice? Mad Hatter? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> this, we got snails? <sighs> what is going on? You guys better get out of there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's just a, a dude out for a cruise. Excuse me. Would it be all right if I joined you this evening? Uh. You see, I've been traveling all day. <laughs> a delicious looking limestone rock. Ice bouquet. <laughs> 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 
It's like wine tasting. Those delicious rocks are the reason we camped here, all right? Is he a nutcase? No, he's a rock biter. A rock biter. A rock biter? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, watch the crumbs. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> the old snail in the head. Where I come from in the north, we used to have exquisite gourmet rocks. Now they're all gone. Well, did the you eat them all? No, how it happened. Oh, I, I swear it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> Near my home, there used to be a beautiful lake. Then it it was gone. Nothing was there anymore. Not even a dried up lake. First, there was no lake anymore. And then finally, no rocks. Oh. What you have told us is also <laughs> happening where I live in the West. <laughs> a strange sort of nothing is destroying everything. Yes. It's not just in our part of Fantasia. Fantasia? What can we do? Oh. My people are sending me to the Ivory Tower, the Empress, for help. We are on the same mission. After all, if the Empress can't save us, who could? Asuka? Hey, wake up. Come on, old girl. Okay, he's in her. We can't just hang around here. Stupid. You know, the camera shots they're doing in here are really creative to do the it's sizing. A racing there, snail. There. Oh. It's a racing snail. <laughs> Can't even wait for a racing snail. <laughs> He's got smoke behind him. Oh, oh, it's coming. The nothingness. Oh, okay, it's this guy's like, what's going on? Yeah, first of all, I was like, an, and all of a sudden an ad popped up. Yeah. I never knew it was that beautiful. Oh, look at that. Stay away. <laughs> it's sleep. <laughs> <Ryan. laughs> Wake up. Oh, I thought it was going to start closing his eyes again, the bat. <laughs> I mean, credit where it's due for set design and effects mm -hmm. for 1984. I mean, this is this is impressive. I mean, just picture yourself as a kid, just seeing this like just a wild the fantasy the end. Nothing like it. She's our only hope. Who's the Empress? <laughs> is it Zool? <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Guys, that guy's hands kind of creeped me out for a minute there. I didn't know who that was coming through the hole. Look at those big heads. The nothing is destroying our world. I also know that you have come to beseech the Empress for help. Oh, we got oh. three headed people. What's four. that collar for? <laughs> so they don't lick their stitches. The Empress herself has become deathly ill. There seems to be a mysterious link between her illness. And the nothing. She's dying. The plains people who hunt the purple buffalo have among them a great warrior. He alone has a chance to fight the nothing. He is our only hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi? Is a treyu. I don't think that was by accident. Oh, uh... Kind of kind of look like him? Him with a different haircut? This is not the time or place for children. I must ask you to leave. If you don't want me here, you shouldn't have sent for me. <laughs> is he in the case? It was not you we sent for. <laughs> That's what he keeps saying about everything. I am a tree. I am the only tree with the plains people. You would be willing to go on a quest? Yes, of course. You must go alone. You must leave all your weapons behind. But if you fail, the Empress will surely die, and our whole world will be utterly destroyed. Oh, no, no, and no weaponry. Take this. Oh, oh that was on the book. book. Yeah. He who wears the Orin speaks for the Empress. It will guide and protect you. <laughs> Oh, 
theme music. You know what I never understood about sending heroes out on a quest? It's like you don't give them any help, no no weapons, no magical trinkets. I mean, I guess they gave him the necklace, but no magical shield or... That's why he's the hero. Uh, just a horse. It's, it's like yeah. when you start out in a video game, you know, you got to yep. save the world. Yep. Here you go. You start out on level zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why he's the hero. At the same time, elsewhere in Fantasia, a creature of darkness also began his quest. Oh, we got to find out who the villain is. Oh. Got a big old wolf here. What is it, Ortex? Is it time to go already? I know what you want. It's time to eat. Hmm? Good idea. No, it's a great idea. <laughs> Yeah, what kind of sandwich did he make himself? It looked like just a big block of butter, butter. that he was putting on butter the bread. Sandwich. That's all right. Butter, peanut butter, apple. That yeah, looks like PB and J. Oh yeah. Not too much. We still have a long way to go. Interesting. It's an adventure. <laughs> We're on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> So he knew where to go to get this cure? Yeah. There wasn't a Walgreens down the street? <laughs> yeah, just fantasy world, all right? I can appreciate it. Oh, that's probably Little Oak's first jump scare he yeah. ever had. <laughs> Man, when, you, when you were a five-year-old kid, oh, that see them, was them green that's, eyes that's looking at you. realized he wanted a dog. That shit was scary. There was only one chance left. To find Morla, the ancient one, the wisest being in Fantasia, whose home was the Shell Mountain. Oh, that's getting deep. That's fine. It's okay. I think you go back out and wait till for a sunny day. Oh, you don't want to go. What's the matter? I understand. It's too difficult for him. Uh, he's sinking, dude. Artex, you're sinking! Come on! Turn around! Come on! Artex! Fighting against the sadness, Artex! Is he gonna lose his horse? I'm going to lose his horse! I won't give up! Don't quit! Artex! No way! And every kid in the theater and watching. It's just balling us. Had the exact same reaction as those two. You were, when you were watching this, you were living it with yeah. those two. Well, if he gets sad, though, isn't the swamp going to yeah. take him? The shell mount. Marla! Morla is the mountain? <laughs> Oof. Yeah, shout out to this kid doing his stunts. I mean, jeez. Oh, oh, it's a turtle. That's the shell mountain. Yeah, they heard they heard his scream. That's impossible. They couldn't have heard me. Are you Mola? The ancient one? Oh, that it matters. But yes. Did you know that the Empress is very ill? Not that it matters. If I don't save her, she'll die! There's a terrible nothing sweeping over the land. Don't you care about that? We don't even care whether or not we care. <laughs> ah, he's speaking in riddles. But you can ask the Southern Oracle. How can I get there? You can't. It's 10,000 miles away. 
Mm, that's... <sighs> Is that lunch or the end of the day? Oh, I guess it is the end of the day. After school activities today. Well, that's... A lot of interesting things to have in a... Yeah, well, you know, if they have like... of the school. Acting and stagecraft stuff and... Oh, it's coming for him. Is that a oh. is that a flying bison? Oh. <laughs> Appa? <laughs> oh, that was close. He was clean and his wounds were dressed. It's like a See, half dragon, half dog. See, that's the uh, that's what I remember from Family Guy is Peter riding it. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> You're a little heavy, buddy. <laughs> yeah! I, after we watch this, I gotta look up and see what they spent on set design oh. for 1984. I mean, everything had to be practical, you know? <laughs> it's high. <laughs> <laughs> This is good stuff. <laughs> this is good stuff, guys. <laughs> Leaving so soon. <laughs> <laughs> I like children. For breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dinner. a luck dragon. My oh, a luck dragon. Falcor. Okay. Falcor. And my name is... Atreyu. And you're on a quest. How'd you know that? You were unconscious, and you talked in your sleep. I have wings. <laughs> the thing is, even if you're a kid watching this in 2023, you don't watch it from an adult's viewpoint where you're like, oh, this is, this is no, it's not CGI, it's, it's, it's bad. You know, when you're six or seven, even in 2023 yeah. watching this, you're probably just <laughs> soaking it all in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so... Good. I mean, the amount of like robots they had to have and, and or actuators, whatever you want to call it, inside that mask is. Incredible. You're on your way to the Southern Oracle. You know how to get there? Why, sure. It's right around the corner. You ran out for a walk. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. He like, brought me the entire ten thousand miles. No, only nine thousand <laughs> eight hundred and ninety-one. <laughs> it's good to have a friend again. You have more than one. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know what that was. It's like a worm. I like which disturbed my scientific work. You and your scientific works. <clears throat> He's well. Whoa, he one big tooth. He must have invented the toothbrush. I decide when he's well. It's your turn when I say it's your turn. He would have invented the teeth brush. Still in pain? Mm, a little, but it's all right. Oh, they're, oh, they're tiny. They're tiny, yeah. It has to hurt if it's to heal. Here. It has to hurt if it's to heal? Well, yeah, you got to be injured to heal yourself. <gasps> oh, it's a shot. That's my batwing broth. Oh! What are you onto? Anything of interest to the uh, scientific community? I came here to find the Southern Oracle. I am somewhat of an expert on the Southern Oracle. <laughs> somewhat of a, a scientist, scientist myself. <laughs> Why don't you <laughs> sit down and be quiet for once? You keep quiet, wench. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than hearing someone call a wench. There's no fool like an old fool. <laughs> <laughs> the observatory. To the witch, wench. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lazy bones. Aren't you going to pass <laughs> There's just something about like an old couple in a fantasy setting that's 
hilarious. Have you ever been to the South Nile? What do you think? I work scientifically. <laughs> Luck Dragon just hanging out yeah. there, having a nap. Look. Hmm. That's what was in his drawing. It's the first of the two gates you must pass through before you reach the Southern Oracle. Most people never get that far. The Sphinx's eyes stay closed until someone who does not feel his own worth tries to pass by. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Well, good thing he's got a luck dragon. He can just fly the whole way there. Yeah, comes one that yeah, like those eagles in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, this isn't going to be good, is it? Oh, it's my turn. Oh, he's getting zapped for sure. The Sphinx's eyes. Are they open or shut? They're shut. No, wait. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here it comes. Donzo. Oh. Finished. Did he make it? Yeah. Did he? Oh, he's wearing a fancy armor. Something that's help. very can conduct yeah. electricity really well. Can see straight into your heart. Gotta know yourself. I'm gonna try it. No! I've not told you about the next game. It's even worse than this one. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he's not he's not really thinking too highly confident of him. Well, Atreyu seems to know himself and be a pretty renowned warrior, so I mean. But does he know his true worth? Ooh. Oh, that didn't take long. Well, no, I think that's oh, other past. Other oh, there yeah. they are. I was going to say, I thought some crazy magic was going on here. Oh. Oh, he got zapped good. Don't start to doubt yourself. Be confident. Be confident. Oh. Oh. Made it. Hmm. The worst one is coming up. Next is the magic mirror gate. Our trio has to face his true self. So what? Confronted with their true selves, most men run away screaming. All right, what's his other self going to be like here? Oh, it's him oh. in the... Okay, it's blending in. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Oh. This is going too far. Oh, oh yeah, you know, that's what the that's what the man of the bookstore told you. Yep. Yeah, but you can't stop. Come on. Yeah. Come on, kid. What if they really do know about me and Fantasia? Just hanging out in the school all night, huh? It's like 10 o'clock. <laughs> Think about what an adventure this would oh. be, though. Hanging out in the school attic. No, nobody's around. Overnight. I got candles and a yeah. blanket and books. And I'm sure Richard Phillips would have been ready for you to do that. A wrestling <laughs> mat to lay down on. Southern Oracle? I don't think either of my schools had an attic. Does anybody's school have an attic like uh, that? I, don't, I, don't I mean, I, I mean, get it. Old, yeah. old schools and bigger Probably cities. did, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Not your traditional, you know, three-story square brick school. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what we had. And I, I do believe we did not have a attic. Okay, so similar setup. Are you the Southern Oracle? Yes. Then you must know what can say Fantasia. The Empress needs <laughs> No one from Fantasia can do it. Oh. Only a human child can give her this new name. Oh. Oh, they falling apart. A human child? Where can I find one? Beyond the boundaries of Fantasia. Oh, that's not good. Hurry, Falcon. The nothing's everywhere. Don't worry. 
We'll reach the boundaries of Fantasia. Do you know where they are? Falcor's never worried. Nope. About anything. <laughs> what is a luck dragon? Then how do we find a human child? With luck. We have to hurry. All right. Hang on tight. <laughs> 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 oh, here we oh, go. We got a little montage. <laughs> God, for 84, definitely uh, not bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there it is! is! <laughs> there it is! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I understand the context now. <laughs> Getting a little heavy there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll show Oak the clip after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This, this reminds me of when I'm snowmobiling and going really fast. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> He's got to reach the end of Fantasia. Boy, he must have been out on him for a long time, because look at how long he's been riding. What a shame they don't ask me. Mm. My mother, she had such a wonderful name. I mean, does it get better than a reading set up than that? Look at Trail, the nothing. Oh. He's got no settle to hang on him yeah. like Kappa. Whoa, he dropped him! Where's Falcor? Oh, it's gone. <gasps> That's not good. I mean, there's an extra one on the book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these going to be the rock guys? The rock biters? <laughs> well, no, because they said that the nothing took over where they were at, but... Well, remember, the it. one was moving. Yeah. Oh, it's his foot. Yeah, yep. there he is. Told you. Where's his bike? My little friend. The little man with his racing snail. The night hawk. Even the stupid bat. I couldn't hold on to them. The nothing. Pulled them right out of my hands. Oh, okay. what? Oh, oh that's there's, yep. There's our guy from the beginning. Yeah, but that's obviously not him in the picture. No, we don't know how old. The Wait, well, is. are these drawings? There's him on his horse. Yeah, it's, so, it's his what, whole what, story. What? what is going on? Artex. Oh. Artex. Are you going to hit me with that again, huh? Oh. There's. <gasps> oh. I was, uh, I, don't know, I was looking into the future. Does he look kind of beat up to you? Yeah. Who are you? I am the Morg. I can't get beyond the boundaries of Fantasia. Fantasia has no boundaries. It's the world of human fantasy. Every part, every creature of it is a piece of the dreams and hopes of mankind. Hmm. But why is Fantasia dying then? Because people have begun to lose their hopes and forget their dreams. So the nothing grows stronger. That's what his dad told mm. him to do in the beginning. Oh, to stop daydreaming. Yeah. Get your head out of the clouds. And I have been trying to help it. But why? Because people who have no hopes are easy to control. Oh. Who are you really? I am the servant of the power behind the nothing. I was Dad? sent to kill the only one who could have stopped the nothing. Oh. Oh, did he get him? Mm. Oh. oh. Got him good. 
Oh, look what, That's right. look what the luck dragon found. Yep. <laughs> hey, yeah, nice. <laughs> Hanging onto the tree. <laughs> Doesn't have a whole lot of book that left around right there. End of Fantasia. What? <sighs> Good old Falco. Can you see anything? No. All the land is gone. Do you suppose the Ivory Tower is still standing? Let's hope so, Atreyu. If the Ivory Tower still stands, take us there. Oh, it's getting close. Hey, there it is. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> Atreyu. Why do you look so sad? Um. You brought him with you. Who? The Earthling child. You know about the Earthling child? I knew everything. But I didn't get in touch with an Earthling. Yes, you did. He has suffered with you. He went through everything you went through. He is very close. Listening. What? <laughs> <laughs> If he's so close, why doesn't he arrive? Oh. He doesn't realize he's already a part of the never-ending story. Just as he is sharing all your adventures, others are sharing his. Ah, oh, they're they breaking the fourth wall. When he hid from the boys in the bookstore, they were with him when he took the book. I can't believe it. They can't be talking about me. Well, I just said you uh, uh, went into a bookstore to hide yeah. from kids. He doesn't understand that he's the one who has the power to stop it. Is it really me? He has to give me a new name. He's already chosen it. He just has to call it out. It's only a story. It's not real. Better start believing, kid. Better start saying her name. Bastion. Oh. Why don't you do what you dream, Bastion? Save us? <laughs> Did it work? Ooh. What is that? One grain of sand it is all that remains. Fantasia can arise in you from your dreams and wishes, Bastion. What are you going to wish for? I don't know. And there will be no Fantasia. How many wishes do I get? <laughs> as many as you want. Oh, oh does okay. he even have to the wish more for more wishes? The more wishes you make, the more magnificent Fantasia will become. Wish there was a rock biter. Wish there was a mad hatter. Wish there was. My first wish is. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's the one! That's the one! That's all I know about it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you over there yeah. playing coy the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it was the first one. Oh. It wasn't the first one. It wasn't the first one. Oh. They, they fooled us with the wow. Oh, yeah, they did. For that moment well, it's the whole like movie. It never was. Stale guy eating some lettuce. Um, Bat's still sleeping. Yeah. Oh, it's daytime. I just assumed that with this movie, he would eventually yeah. go into the world and, and help out or whatever. But oh, what a twist. Look who we got back. Yeah, got the horse back. Ha, <laughs> oh, what a win. What would you like to wish for next? <laughs> Why whisper it? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> He's doing it again. <laughs> He's, gonna, He's going oh. to get the bullies. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what if Falcor eats them? <laughs> 
Oh, well, I'll take care of them. <laughs> 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 All those kids even have a chance. He should easily have been able to catch up to them. Right back in the garbage. Oh, okay, my notice is staggering. As you make many other wishes, have many other amazing adventures. Oh, to become an author? Before you finally return to the ordinary world. But that's another story. Oh, and they, they tease you. There was the never ending story. Uh, recommended by so many of you out there. That was my first time seeing it. Oak was transported back to being <laughs> four years old again, watching this in the theater. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. Like so many movies uh, of that era, you know, I just want to kind of get some of this stuff out of the way that, you know, they had to rely on a lot of practical special effects. Oh, uh, you know, they didn't have the option of CGI. So, I mean, shout out to all the set designers and the artists and everybody who, you know, who worked on this. I mean, granted, you can look back at it now and be like, ah, it's a little, it's a little campy. It's a little cheap. Easy, but you know, I think if you're watching this in 1984, I mean, I think you're you're pretty damn impressed with what you're watching. And uh, we've talked about it on the channel here a number of times. Where if you have a good story and you're sucked into it, the effects really they don't really matter as much uh, at the end of the day because you're enjoying the story and you just kind of look past it and uh, you get sucked in. You know, it's kind of like going to like a live action theater. Uh, where if you see people doing things in the background, stagecraft or stagehands, whatever, uh, you don't really pay attention to it because you're so sucked in. So I think that's what this had going for it. Um, again, you know, coming into it, I didn't have a whole lot of knowledge about it at all. And I thought that... Um, Bastion was going to somehow go into the yeah. world and, and help out. And I and but no, he was just gonna he was gonna read the story and then come through at the end. So that was a lot of fun and you know a lot of a lot of good. Um, oh, and again, before I forget, I know I mentioned it uh, and I don't know if it made the cut or not, but the um, the actor, the young man who played uh, um, Atru. Is that his name? Atru. Atreyu. Atreyu. God, only watched it once. No. You know. Um, the young, you know, for all the stunts he did. I mean, he was really walking through mud, yep. pulling a real horse in real mud. I mean, let's not forget, guys. Like a horse, at the end of the day, is still an animal with its own, you know, mind, and it could still do what it's going to want to do. There was a couple of those scenes. I'm like, I can't believe he's really doing this. Like <laughs> this would never fly in today's in today's movies yeah. at all. So huge shout out to him. And, and again, I mean, I don't think you can say enough about the. Um, about the effects and, and the actors and the things they did. That uh, all being said, this movie, I better step my timer here or is it going to be in trouble? Uh, that being said, this movie was a huge amount of fun with a lot of really good messages for, uh, you know, some you know, younger kids and even, you know, teenagers, I'm sure, uh, watching this, you know, in the early 80s. And, you know, obviously the big theme of, you know, not giving up on yourself, believing in yourself, and, you know, it's okay to, you know, sort of be grounded in the real world, but, you know, don't let go of your dreams. You know, you still got to kind of have something to shoot for. And it's, you know, you can kind of see, you know, the energy that his dad, you know, kind of had in the beginning. It was real kind of, you know, somber and not a lot of excitement and just kind of going through, you know, your regular day. And I think it's important to try to, you know, have something to look forward to or some kind of you know dream or hobby or something you're interested in whatever you know that's really important to uh to give you something to go through in life and uh the i don't start my breakfast with orange juice and an egg in a blender uh, but, but you're uh, gonna start uh, well i don't know about that but <laughs> did not expect that but you know a lot of fun a real classic that. story of you know children not uh letting go of their youth too early keep dreaming you know believe in yourself all those great messages a lot of fun for this movie um i'm gonna give it a, a rating here and i think that uh oh boy it's so beloved by so many of you however that being said go i go with your heart uh, what do we, we do here, know guys Oak's number you might as well what do you, put it on what the do you think we do here i mean Wow, we can't. How much time are you gonna waste? I want to keep ah. on waiting, guys. I oh, gotta give the never-ending story a five. 
Without all of you out there, I never in a million years would have even considered watching this movie, but it was a lot of fun. It it did kind of bring me back a little bit, uh, you know, to my childhood, kind of remembering, you know, where I was at that point. And you see the a lot of the clothes and the setting and everything. It just it really does do a good job of, of transporting you back to when you were a kid. So for that alone, five answers. Well, I Coming into this, I like I knew I saw it as a kid, like I said, but I don't remember so much of this. Though coming into it, it was like really watching it anew. I mean, like I said, the Family Guy spoof that was about it. But like this, <laughs> it was fun watching it, and you know, like like Oak was saying, how he likes watching me watch Avatar. It was fun kind of seeing out of the corner of my eye, or sometimes checking the monitor, just seeing you know, <laughs> Oak. Oh god! <laughs> if I can do my Oak impersonation, oh god! Right now, I'm sorry. I needed a hat. Um, got the same haircut, but no, it was, it was fun seeing him as a child again. Um, but I vaguely remember the horse scene because I remember seeing this on a bunch of lists of like one of the worst, most traumatic, traumatic <laughs> things to happen in, yeah. in any kids' films. Because yeah. like we've watched Up, you know, or yeah. the beginning is a little heart wrenching, and this and the, this is like this, you know, this well, was and they huge. did it so slowly, yeah, when it's sinking it's, in. and you're just like, and the horse isn't even fighting it because it's, it's like ah. But it was uh, Barrett Oliver was bashed and and he did a great job. And then it was Noah Hathaway that was a tree that okay. you really yeah, loved and what, did a what great a job, job. He did even even Tammy Strunick as the childlike empress at the end, like she was very good and like even like the crying looked like it was genuine and stuff. Yeah. So they crush it and then. But I love the little part with uh, Tom Sill was Carl Conrad Crander, the grumpy bookseller, where, <laughs> oh, oh, gotta hide it. But not really. <laughs> it's like as soon as he takes it, oh, okay. He, at least he left a note, but the fact that he stayed in the high school or in the school and just hung up in the yeah, attic and stuff like Nobody's that <laughs> i mean it was it was fun it was a yeah. fun watch uh yeah if it wasn't for this i probably wouldn't have went back to watch it again but it was still a lot of fun I'm not going as high as you guys but i'm gonna give it a four seven five so it's not like i'm crushing it it's just that's what it was i would have yeah. i would have loved more falcro because yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, you guys, when it, when he, when Atreyu did it, they were like, "That's it." I was just thinking, and I'm not sure if it's gonna make the cut. But uh, the full version for Patreon, when they saw the Atreyu go like that, they were like, "That's it." I just kind of made eye contact with the camera, just kind of like, "Wait, what? there's another one." Um, you know, it's when, when we went through and watched Harry Potter. One of the things I talked about was how neat it must have been to grow up and, and, and be in that time frame and the same age as the kids. So for people who, um, you know, I saw this in the theaters. I'm with my dad. I vaguely remember that. I'm not going to pretend I was, you know, maybe just under five years old. Um, so I'm not going to pretend like um, I, I vividly remember going to the theater. But I know that I saw it in the theater with my dad. And so and, and we watched it a million times over in the subsequent years, you know, when it came out on VHS. So I was, uh, you know, a similar age, maybe a few years younger than he was when this came out. Mm. So for the younger people watching this who, you know, can relate to, you know, that was in my era. This was in in, in, in my era. So it kind of has a special meaning. It's it's interesting when you go back and watch it. Like I said, I haven't watched this movie probably in a few years. Um, Certainly not since we started doing these reactions. And of course, if, if you've watched these, you know I try to pull lessons out of these. And it's amazing looking at a movie that's almost 40 years old and thinking oh, like- No kidding. Like these lessons are, are, are timeless. And it really, whether it was released in 1984 or, or 2023, these lessons don't change. And I, you know, I just made a few notes. I probably could have ripped these off the top of my head without notes. <laughs> but you know, when they talk about Artex, um, keep going when you're sad you know so you have to keep going when you're sad because if when you're sad you you stop i mean that's that's where you're always gonna stay the luck dragon talks about believing in yourself and then there you just just gotta believe in yourself yeah. um the old scientist was talking about knowing yourself knowing your self-worth and you know how difficult it is to to face your true self um you know, and, and I think it's it's interesting with this movie, and I think a lot of well-done kids' movies, you're 
two things are happening. You're trying to teach the kids lessons, right? But as a five or a six or a seven year old kid, you're gonna get it very superficially, but I don't know how deep that's gonna set in. Yeah, so a, a movie like this, I think it's doing two things. It's trying to teach these kids lessons, but every bit as much, if not more so, it's trying to teach the parents what sort of values and lessons to instill in your children, if that makes sense. Like if you were a parent and you took your kids to this movie, and you're watching these lessons, you're like, oh, that's a great lesson. And, and you hope that your kid is picking up on that. But at the same time, you're like, well, those are the things that I should be teaching my child as they grow older. So this might be a, a kid's movie as far as the story. But I think this is really a, a blueprint for parents on on how to you know raise your kids and especially in traumatic situations. I mean, they, they hit us with a pretty much the heaviest thing a child can go through in, in losing a parent. Yeah, right you know, off the especially, bat. Especially uh, a child at that age losing their mother. I mean, that's one of the most traumatic things you can go through. Um, and I think it was it was rough with the dad and, and, and we, we try not to be too judgmental because the one thing you have to remember is you, you put that dad in this situation where all of a sudden he's got to raise his children on his own, but he also just lost his wife. Yep. He's trying to do the best thing yep. for his kid. Hey, look, maybe focusing on school is is, is the so best be. thing you know kind of keep yourself occupied the dad wants his kid to, you know to, to, to keep moving forward but um you know I, I think it's it's important to to recognize like the, the sorry just it's a lot um it with for the for the lessons for the parents like you have to keep your kids dreaming and you have to keep your kids um you know excited about their future and not just you know put your head down and deal with with the trauma uh, if if that all makes sense um you know and, I, and mason quinn kind of touched on the story you know hey stay grounded but dream dream big and and that's kind of you know an interesting an interesting thing where like i said it doesn't matter whether it's 1984 2023 i mean that's what you want to teach your kids right mm -hmm. to have big dreams and, and big aspirations and then kind of the last lesson that you know when they talked about Fantasia being down to a grain of sand and and you can grow it I think that hits a really hard lesson that look things are going to get bad and we know there's going to be times when things get bad but if you if you believe and you push forward things can go back to good and I think that was a really powerful metaphor that all it was was one little grain of sand, but that's all it takes. And if he imagines things and you and, and you believe and you have hope and you have faith and you know and, and you put your dreams back out on that table that that you can move forward with your life and things can be good again. So um, it's it's interesting seeing like a movie with a lesson that you really you you don't like as deep as this was i think you know a child that was six or seven or eight or nine it might kind of yeah they're just head. enjoying the, the ride and the adventure they're yeah. enjoying the story like yeah. wow i'm part of the story but uh yeah, especially so, when they broke the fourth wall there and they yeah. said that we were watching uh bastion with the bookstore and mm -hmm. with the bullies and you know that's and i think that, early and on. i think that's a really unique thing about this movie because if you look forward okay from 1984 to now how many movies really break that fourth wall yeah. mm -hmm. ferris know? bueller did at the end yeah you know yeah. but i mean it's you have to think about it a so little it's bit. really cool to see a movie break that fourth wall the kids they in the story you get excited like if you're a kid watching this your reactions when you're a kid watching this are kind of the same it's just like what's going on like <laughs> no no it's the it's a movie about a kid reading a story but he's in the story yeah. so it's it's <laughs> It's almost like there's this this other wall. Like you're watching the movie, but you're watching the story. But he's in this. It's like it was it was so brilliantly done. Um, it's funny that uh, that answer brings up the horse thing. Uh, I would be remiss if I talked about a movie and didn't bring up some memes. Yes, uh, that horse scene has made a lot of memes. Like this is this is where my trauma started. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. um, uh, as far as Mason Quinn bringing up the horse stuff, I. Yeah, I believe that horse died um I, know, I hate to like bring this down but what they yeah. what, if i recall correctly i've read about it they had it on a platform and the platform was lowering and you know animals can die from stress yeah um, and i don't know if it was from stress or if something malfunctioned with the platform um I, I again but i i don't know if that horse died and they had to use a second one or that's 
why they cut scene to remember they showed it like neck up and yeah. then cut and mm -hmm. went to another scene I'm fairly certain that horse actually passed away and I do believe if I read correctly and again I, I may be a little off on this I do believe this movie actually changed the way that they handled oh, it's, um, it's stressful started with, with, with animals, with animals. cuz it when it was neck deep in the mud that was it was I was real that was <laughs> that was real and like you said I mean you can't you can't tell a horse like oh you're in a movie just relax yeah, yeah. You're um, fine. so uh, a bit of a controversial piece about this movie which you know if there's if there's anything that you can kind of you know rip on it about you know when they were doing that scene but you know you'd, you'd like to think if they had thought that that was going to be the case that whatever um but all in all a phenomenal movie um like a like the you know, answer pointed out he caught like this was this was my get to get to watch them you know i was waiting to see if you know if i try not to look over too much during the uh the attack scene and be like are you traumatized are you traumatized are you traumatized did but, not uh, see that coming this There's, was uh, this was it's you know it's it's so weird we we do all these reaction movies and we hope that people watching them enjoy the reaction movies and now it's like i'm almost like breaking you know, it's, it's like this weird the like six seven I'm wall breaking, like like with a sixth or seventh wall 20 like we're shooting a reaction video of a movie about this and this and i'm reacting to my fellow reactors like when they when he when a tray put his hand up and they were like yeah that's it oh i'm telling you you're that pumped was, that, I was, could that tell. was good times for me but this was a lot of fun i mean i think you guys already know what my score is going to be um maybe it's a nostalgia combination yeah, of could some, be. some really good lessons yeah. a very creative story but um this is this is an easy five for me when twenty thousand people on amazon uh, it average a, a average five score. stars look is it a perfect movie maybe yeah. maybe not wow. but there's a lot of nostalgia and uh, and again there's lessons that um transcend the last 40 years and probably are going to transcend the next 40 and then slap another zero on that and as far as uh, as far as humans are on the face of the earth and they're going to have hopes and dreams and uh, every single one of these lessons you can carry forward from now until you know, pretty much the end of Fantasia. <laughs> end of Fantasia, which has no boundaries. Yeah, no boundaries. So... Other people that don't have boundaries. Appleton Oak, Mason <laughs> Quinn, and I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals. Uh -huh.